Hey everyone, this is Alice and I am here for our next Calvin Ball crop. This is crop number three that we've had during this month of Calvin Ball scrapbooking. And Calvin Ball is like a super fun challenge and I'm excited to be hosting it for the first time this year. And, you know, it's just been a super big amount of joy into my life. I'm always telling my husband like, oh, I just had this idea of something we can add to the challenge. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, well, we are here together today. We're going to be adding more rules, which means more points, more opportunities to um, build up our scrappy score for our Calvin Ball challenge. Um, kind of excited. So uh, this is our second one that we've done today. So I'll show you the page that I made earlier today and I'll show you the supplies that I'm working with today. So this is the page that I ended up making. Oh, we've got sunlight <laughs> streaming in here. So this is a picture of my niece and through the magic of crowdsourcing, we came up with the title, Beautiful Dreamer for the page. Thank you, Merrick. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, I've now completed the embellishing. And as I was doing the embellishing, I was really thinking about what's on the list? What can I add into the little embellishment clusters? So you will find hearts and flowers and sequins and rainbows. And <laughs> there's a bow, there's a camera, there is a unicorn poking out right there. We've got a tag, there's stars, there's a cloud. Uh, there's some glitter on here. Let's see, I've got a butterfly down here. There is a bicycle. There's a button. We've got the word so happy as a little um, word, word strip. So, and the word happy counts as well. We've got a butterfly. There's a mermaid back here. It's kind of perfect. I had this page about a girl that's sleeping. So um, that just makes it easy to kind of put all the little fun things when a kid is laying there and dreaming. And that's kind of the focus of your page. Um, but I thought I'll just quickly share with you because I did do the journaling. I'll quickly share that. It says, I love how Capri looks like a sleeping angel in this photo. When she's awake, she's feisty and resourceful. She's frank in asking for what she wants, which I consider an admirable trait in my little niece. She's happy to play independently or with her brothers and sister. She loves to help, especially if it's something fun like baking cookies. It's been so fun spending more time with her at this age, five, and it makes me look forward to the strong and independent young woman she will eventually become. But for now, she can sleep and dream. Starlight and dewdrops are, are awaiting thee. So I did like the little quote from the song, Beautiful Dreamer, which I thought was perfect. Way to kind of pull in the title. And yeah, I've got my clusters. So turned out good. Got some little pom pom fringe on there. Pom pom ribbon, whatever. Okay. So those supplies that I'm working with, thank you, Teresa. She said sweet journaling. Um, <laughs> we've got here these supplies, and these are from. Um, I ordered, I asked, actually, I talked to Christina from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, and I said, Calvin Ball, want to do a little something? And she says, let me send you a kit and anything that you like. Like, I'm like, oh, there's so many things I like, but I hadn't had my hands on any of the Paige Evans Pink Paisley Horizon collection. And it actually, this collection contains one of my favorite pieces of paper that I saw at Creativation. I just fell in love with this paper. And it is a kind of like a grid map paper, but it's super colorful, really fun. And even if you're not using it for travel or something, I'm like, oh, that would make like beautiful backgrounds. So I love the paper. And as you can see, I've used other pieces of paper that she sent for the other page. So I'll just show you quickly what else was in here in my kit. So this is some of the striped paper that was on there. And on the other side, there are some globes. The lighting in here is really great because the sun streams right into the spot right now. Sorry about that. We got some ombre kind of paint effect pink paper with little air like airplanes or jets on the back. There is this more reddish reddish pink paper and with a paint 
painterly kind of effect on the back. Thank you, so Linda. She says, I love your page. Um, this one has the little frames with little sayings on it. And on the back is like a polka dot in uh, green. And it's got like words like travel, explore, adventure, wanderlust, vacation, love. We got some multicolored plus paper and then some orange paper, a geometric kind of design, kind of almost like a tile or a flower. Um, there is another green pattern with these gorgeous stripes on the back. And there's another painterly effect one. This one is in blue. And some flowers on the back of that one. And then there is this lovely multicolored word paper with kind of like a ceiling tile or floor tile kind of design in the pink on the background. This other paper is from a paper pack and it is so like an individual pulled sheet. So I love that the kits can have that versatility. Um, also in the kit that she sent me, there are some wonderful alphas from Pink Fresh Studio. So we got these great alphas. There are these wonderful sheets of stickers or like puffy stickers. Um, I love like the ombre effect on the words. Like can you see on the word travel there? Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. There's also a set of stickers. Doo -doo. Trying to show it in an area that like kind of sorta has decent light. And then there were some sheets of six by eight papers. And so there is this green one and these are straight out of a paper pad. And there is this butterflies with some foil effect. This dot one also has some foil effect on it. And there's another one that I've chopped up and used part of. Um, in addition to all those fun things, there are some layered heart embellishments. And there were two bows, but I have used one of the bows already. And I've got some little tiny buttons in here. They're just like little tiny, little sweet little tiny buttons, super small. Uh, very nice. I love that size of a button. And then uh, a whole bunch of die cuts and lots of little funny little shapes, as well as a custom pack of sequins. And this is like um, a partnership with Spiegel Mom Scraps. These, this pack is exclusively designed for the secret, not secret cake club. And it is a gorgeous multi-pack and some of them have dimension and texture. Um, there's like little rounded-ish flower ones. There's some leaves. There's shades of blue and teal and pink. There's kind of clear ones in here. It's really nice. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna kind of use as my base for this as I play. And then I'll just get creating. Um, the one great thing is that if you have never ordered a kit and you want to order your first kit from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, uh, you can do that. They have a discount. There's a discount. Let me see. Um, for the word Calvin Kit, we'll save you $5 off of a kit. And if you want to order from the shop, use the words Calvin Ball 2019. So I'll make sure that's posted in the Calvin Ball group so that you have access to the discount so you can take advantage of that because you know you get fun stuff lots of pretty stuff says Libby <laughs> I know <laughs> Christina says hey I recognize that stuff I love what you're creating with your kit thank you I'm glad that you're here do you want to pop your link for your um Facebook group in the comments there Christina um Christina told me that she has an activity that is going on through the month of April. The Secret Not Secret Kit Club is doing, is it like a countdown to International Scrapbooking Day or something? Um, so yeah, so here is the link. She's posted it in the in the comments there and it's uh, facebook.com slash secret not secret kit club. 
And it's a big countdown party during the month of April because International Scrapbooking Day is like the first weekend in May. So lots of fun stuff happening, which is awesome. So lots of fun playing here. I made my one page so far. Lots of fun with that. And for this, I actually wanted to do something in a very different style than what I had done earlier today. And I make quite a few pages that have that one photo, like one focal photo. But some people are like, oh, like that's not their style. And I like to kind of dabble in everything. It's like, oh, there's a thing. Let me try it. <laughs> so one thing I thought I would do is make a page that had like a lot more pictures on it. And since that sounded like so much fun, I printed off this whole bunch of these photos. And these are from um, the Scrap Happy reunion last summer when we went to Denver, Colorado. So fun. And I haven't actually, like they're in my little travel journal, but I haven't made a page. And I wanted to have a page that goes into like my friend's album. Um, I, I did like the group shot. I've done that page, but I haven't actually used the individual selfies because I did selfies with everybody. So actually there's Christina right there. Cause she came as our instructor and let's see Kathy and let's see uh, who else have I seen that's here. That's been commenting. Uh, Brielle. Here's Brielle. There we go. So we got some people in the house that I've known and hung out with, and that's extra fun for me. So you're going on my page today, gals. <laughs> Everybody else is like, it was so fun. <laughs> yes, I agree. I had such a good time. Really looking forward to Calgary this year. So I'm going to start chopping up my photos because I printed home so that I can print um, the sizes that I want when I want them and just have pictures in my hands immediately. I love that. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. I think I can get these all to fit on one page. I didn't quite like do all the math. Maybe I should have done that first, but you know, it didn't happen. So we're going to wing it. If I have to, I'll make like things that flip and move and we'll fit it. Right. <laughs> That's what you do. You, you don't have mistakes. There's no mistakes in scrapbooking. Opportunities for new creativity. <laughs> so fun times. Um, yeah. Super fun times in Colorado. Oh my gosh. And Christina's classes, like I don't know, but I had so much feedback from the people that we had attending about how the classes were amazing and how it really helped them examine the way they scrapbook and try something different, right? And so that's what I totally love, right? When if you're going to have a teacher come in and teach you something, you want to walk away from that class going, oh, I'm so inspired. This is stuff that I can do. And it's stepping up my game and oh, love it. So good stuff. Okay. There's a couple of these pictures don't have a little bit of white at the bottom. I don't get full control when I print my pictures with my thing, but it'll be fine. Some of them I just might have to mat a little bit with some white. Okay. Um, so if you are here right now, do you want to kind of let us know um, where you're here from and maybe, um, you know, if you've had a productive month or not, like, have you got as much or more done as you wanted? Are you like still like, I can get a little bit done and that's going to help my numbers a little bit this month. Are you generally a productive scrapper? Just tell us something about the way you scrapbook, whether you do lots or a little, whether you scrap most at a crop, like doesn't matter. Just something about your own scrappy style. I'd love to kind of hear that. Um, earlier today, we had Merrick and she was showing us how not all of the time, but sometimes she batch scrapbooks. So she kind of does like backgrounds and gets the photos stuck down and then she does a whole bunch of those 
And then she goes back and she adds her journaling and adds her embellishment and adds her titles. And it was just really interesting to kind of see that process because she had a stack of them that were just there waiting for her to go and add all the finishing touches. So it's interesting to kind of learn what's your process. Uh, Anne says, I wanted to average a page a day. I'm on 27, so hopefully I'll get four more done tomorrow. You go, Anne. We're, we're rooting for you. It's like, go, Anne. Go, Anne. You can do it. <laughs> uh, Missy says, she's from Washington State, haven't scrapbooked in about two years, but got back to it with February Load and now Calvin Ball. And I got all of 2018 done and most of 2017. <laughs> Yay, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't even know what that really looks like to get all of a year done because it's, I find different stories and different things. And because I'm not scrapbooking like chronologically, these are all my photos. I must scrapbook them. So it's like a totally different way of looking at scrapbooking. I love it. There's just so many ways. Linda says, I haven't done nearly as much as in prior years. I was on a cruise for a week and I've had several other things going on. So maybe not her most productive uh, Calvin Ball experience, but you know, she's here today. <laughs> and Di says she's from Granville, Ohio, not as much as I'd hoped. However, it did get me back into scrapbooking and I've only been at this for about two years. This is what I needed to get back into. Yay. That's so fun. Misty says she does a monthly layout for each family member. That's a lot. If you have like, <laughs> depending on how many family members you have. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think that was, uh, Andrea said life was much busier and weird stuff happened. So I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but still not bad. And I think it's Deborah's Deborah. Oh yes. Kate, Deborah, uh, Deborah Garner, Gardner from Mobile, Alabama. She's scrapbooking more than she ever has in a month, but she mostly scraps at home and at crops. Congratulations. I love when I hear that people have had productive months. Adria says hi to everyone. Kathy says, I need 10 more to get to 100. Three done today. And oh my gosh, you guys are all typing in. I can't even keep up. This is awesome. Um, it helped that I did a couple other challenges, including Christina's party this past week. Yeah. So I don't even know how you do that because she's like, I'm doing load and I'm doing this other challenge and I'm doing this other challenge. And she's got like four challenges sometimes working at the same time. I'm like, girl, you're too organized for me. <laughs> Mel says she's in Auckland, New Zealand. She's a slow scrapbooker. I'm pretty happy with how many layouts I've got done this month. I think about 14. That's awesome. I love, I've done lots of photo editing and printing. So I think that's pretty satisfying. Wendy says she's in Australia and it's been so much fun. Usually only do a little and watch a lot. <laughs> after my own heart. <laughs> I have made more than 20 pages, which is so amazing. Libby says this week with meetings to plan, I haven't done as much as I hoped for about 50 pages and 500 points. And I'm close, but with only tomorrow, I'm not sure I'll quite get there, but it was still a lot for me. I scrap in binges and in events. So with this, I'm almost caught up with 2019. We won't get into how much isn't done from prior years. <laughs> That's okay. We don't need to talk about that. Um, you know, we do as much as we can when we can, right? Dion says it's her first time doing Calvin Ball, so I had no idea what happens. I thought I'd try for 100 points, and I don't know how many points I'll end up with, but I think I should surpass that after these two crops today. Rocking it. Oh, I just have to tell you, that page, 51 points, guys. I got 51 points on that page. So I was like, yeah, this is how to get those points. Get them in there. Get them done. <laughs> so who knows where I'll get today. This is awesome. Uh, Jenny says she's here from Connecticut. Again, I was less productive this year, but only because I was mainly caretaking of my husband post-surgery. 
I prep page kits ahead of time. So that's helped me create 15 pages so far. Previous years, I've done more than double that. But page kits are such a good way. Another thing that really helps like when putting together that kind of kit, um, a really fun thing, you can go to the Counterfeit Kit Club and they, um, they have you basically put together a kit inspired by this other kit. So you look at that kit and say, oh, well, I have striped papers and I have this and I can bring out these kind of embellishments. So you put together a kit using your own supplies that you already have, but by putting different things together from your stash, it gives you new, a new way of looking at your supplies. So that's really, really fun. Um, Casey says, I'm in Hagerstown, and Maryland, is that MD? Sorry, I'm a good Canadian girl here, not 100% good with all of my little shortcuts, um, abbreviations I mean. I have a goal of 50 layouts and I'm almost there. Just need three more to complete. Three is possible. You can do this, Casey. <laughs> I wanted to do more, but the first two weeks we were on vacation. So you did 50 in the last two weeks? <laughs> like. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I wanted, um, so I'm happy with what I was able to get done this month. No kidding. Dottie says, first time here working on some organizational projects. It's much easier to view on my laptop than my iPad. <laughs> yes. Um, it's easier to go between everything and see that texting, like the, the chat where you can type and stuff too. Um, she's from Cedar Park, Texas, near Austin. Yeah. Woohoo. I know. You guys are like cheering each other on. I love seeing that. Uh, Kathy says, I'm definitely a challenge scrapper. Too competitive for my own good sometimes. So if you don't all know Kathy, she's known as Scrappy Kathy, and her name is at that top of the leaderboard. That's the gal. This is Kathy. <laughs> Um, and Kim Gray, also another one on the top of our leaderboard. She's here from Ohio. And I think she's at, she says, I think I'm at 125, around 75 paper, which is different for me since I started digi scrapping. Like you guys, like hands down, it's like amazing. I'm like, oh wow, people are never going to get like that many points. And then every time I think, oh, you can't meet that next level. They're like Psh, gone. And like, Kathy just broke 4,000 points the other night. I was like, 4,000? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it's just been so good. It's so fun to see. Okay, so I'm going to actually do some scrapbooking. That's M, like that's what we're here for, but I can't help it. I love the interaction so much. Okay, it's so bad. Hey, guys, I'm already wanting to hoard this paper. It's so bad because I love it so much. I just want to like hug it and put it in a frame and like oh I hate it when you know the papers like are just too pretty to want to use <laughs> so bad I'm totally gonna use it I'm gonna use it because it's so beautiful I'm gonna store it in my scrapbook <laughs> that's you know the right frame of mind store it in your scrapbook Ooh, I like that oh okay I like all of it but what else can we use here together? Ooh, maybe that. So if I'm going to have all of these pictures, ooh, I can definitely use some of these globes and stuff. Maybe I need to use that instead. We'll have a look here. So I'm going to see. I've got 20 of these photos because there was 21 of us there with me, and I'm in all of them, which is going to mean that I look at this page and be like, oh, look, there's Alice, 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 Alice. It's going to be, like, ridiculous. <laughs> Ooh, Sharon says, I'm working on a layout, and I'd like to share it, but I'm not sure how to do it. So, Sharon, uh, um, okay, I see you there. I'm going to put you on unmute, so I think I can hear you now. Can I hear you? Uh, can you hear me? I can. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is the and first I'll time I've ever done that. So we can see you. So if you want to show us your stuff, hold okay. it up. Yeah, it's, it's not quite done, but the reason I wanted to show you is because it's about all of us. Yay. I don't know if you can read that. Oh my God. Look at that title, guys. Oh, the crazy world of Calvin Ball. Oh, look at that. And that's got to be like a gazillion points. Look at all the things that she's got in there. That is, yeah, I hope to ever. get like almost everything on it. That's my, <laughs> <change>. <laughs> oh, 
a million little um, embellies already, and I'm not anywhere near done. But anyway, that and is the, the cutest page. The have something to do with the list, like the hedgehog paper or rainbow paper or. Yeah. Anyway, it took me all day to cut out the silly letters. <laughs> I, I believe it, but look how good it is. It's like totally like, I'm like kind of fangirling right here right now. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I, I can't wait to get it done, honestly. <laughs> oh, it's going to be gorgeous. So I'll be watching for that in the post. I have not interacted as much in the post as I wanted to because, you know, life and we all get that play into that place sometimes, but I'll be watching for that. So okay, really, really excited to see it. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Um, yeah, see, this is why it's so fun. And when people come on camera, that's extra fun. <laughs> okay, so yeah, lots of these. I'm seeing this, like as I put this, all the pictures onto this paper, this is not the right choice for a background at all, but it is giving me the chance to kind of see where I'm gonna wanna go with this. We're wearing mostly our purple shirts in the pictures, which is great. Um, but I think I need something that's a little more neutral on the background. <laughs> that's like unusual for me. Yes, everybody's saying, awesome, that's fabulous, so fun, so cute, that is so cool, Sharon, I love it. Great page. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're in agreement. That was magical. Um, okay, so I don't know if I like the look of putting all my purple shirts on red paper. It just feels weird. Anybody else still, um, you know, have struggles when they see certain color combinations? <laughs> like, you know, the ones that were like forbidden from your youth, right? It's like when you see somebody that wears the white pants after Labor Day, you're like, ew, what are you doing? <laughs> Kathy says, but you'll get the purple point. We're all wearing the purple shirts, but I don't know if I can wear it or can do it with this red paper. We might gotta, we might have to find something else here. Um, ooh, I can do it on this pink paper. And that will work just fine. It will be lovely. But man, this is going to be so hard. I wanted to use this paper. <laughs> Color combo worries, not me, says Kathy. Oh, I know, like purple and red, you know, it's like orange and pink. I still, like, you see it sometimes and it's used like, and it's like, oh, that's cute. But most of the time, like my brain just does not want to let me put those beside each other. It's like, no, <laughs> just don't. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pink and red. My mom always said not to wear pink and red together. And now I use so much pink and red. See, and it, but it takes a while, right? To retrain your brain <laughs> to be able to even do it. <laughs> yeah. so. Okay. So I'm going to make a grid layout because I think we get points for grid layouts too, right? <laughs> If, if they're not, then we'll correct that and we'll add that. <laughs> uh, Sharon says, purple and red, be careful or the red hatters will try to recruit you. You know, we don't have a red hatters group in my local community. But when I first learned about this red hat society, I was like, what is this? This is amazing. Um, yeah, purple and red is for the red hat society. And if somebody has like a little more details about like, it's like a social group, right? And then younger members wear one color and older members wear the other color. Is that right? I don't know. Feel free to correct me. Um, like I said, we don't have one of them here. So I'm slightly out of touch. Oh my gosh. Okay. So with this, I can create some gaps in the layout. And perfect. And we can use one of these globes for sure, for sure. Let's see. I think there was one in the die cuts. 
but I didn't get onto that last page. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I dream of travel. So that's gonna go on here. And I'll need a title and a little bit of words. And man, like, you know, I wish I could take like a point for every selfie that I'm getting on this page. That right there would be 20 points, right? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Uh, Leela says, hey, Calvin Ballers, and happy Saturday. Hey, welcome. So good. <laughs> Jenny says, just add that rule. <laughs> You're all so tempting. Like, talk about enabling, right? <laughs> it's like, I want to be able to get more points. <laughs> Let's just add this. <laughs> Okay, so this is fun. Um, maybe I'll bring all of my stuff in closer. I don't know, should I keep them a little for, yeah, I gotta keep a little space between them. But I think I'm gonna make them tight, make it a tighter. Hmm, it's fun. I don't actually do a ton of grid layouts, and this one has a lot of spaces. Um, filled already so it doesn't leave me a lot of room for embellishing so that should mean like that this will just get done really quickly right <laughs> any of you who know me know that that's like so fun <laughs> but yeah I um yeah, fiddle with a couple of these things I think we can get this on here somewhere. I might just cut some of this into some shapes. This is good. Um, Leela says, I don't know about all of you, but I've scrapped more pages this March than ever before in one month. I love it. I love it. That is so good. Um, Have a look and make sure. Yeah, they're just too much. Okay. So I'll cut a little jet paper up. I really don't even know how to use this in here. Good. Oh, this is going to be adorable. Um, okay. <laughs> Mel said, me too. I know. It's amazing. We were actually just sharing that just a moment ago about how productive everyone has been. And it's like, it's mind blowing and impressive. And I'm just like, good job. Good job. <laughs> Sharon says, between load and Calvin Ball, I'm ready to take a break. So we'll take a breather a little in April, like maybe reduce like our like chaotic schedule so that we can like get like amped up again and be like totally ready for May, right? Like that's, that's the goal. <laughs> that's the big plan. Get ready for May. Ooh, okay. I wonder if I should frame these out on a different color. I just want to add a little more paper, texture, I don't know. I love these. I wish that I had had like 12 pictures, but you know, the good thing was that we had too many people for that. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good option. Oh, this Hmm. Okay. What do I want to say? I think we're just going to say selfie time unless I've got like some good words here. Oh, I do have good words here. Okay. Oh, okay. 
think I need to stick some things down so that I can just start getting committed. I don't know. I'm kind of in like this little weird spot right now. Okay. Um, Di says that she's so glad that she got involved. She didn't count points, but next year for sure. <laughs> I know the point thing. And so this year was like a lot of learning things for me, like learning what's going to be helpful. Um, I think in future years, maybe I would try to get that, um, downloadable, like the checklist sheets, um, you know, done every couple of days or every few days rather than like there was a big gap in the middle. And I think I left that a little bit too long. And then someone said, Hey, Alice, can we have a new one? I'm like, yeah, for sure. Thanks for reminding me. You know, you just kind of get caught up in like daily life and then I wasn't thinking about it. So I appreciated the reminder for that. It's just uh, one of those things. Um, Leela said that load helped me get into a pattern just to finish pages. It was the perfect lead into Calvin Ball. So anybody that's not familiar with load, it's the layout a day challenge. And it's something that the Scrap Happy membership does every year in February, May, and again in October, but just for the members in October. So that's uh, what we have going on. And a bunch of the Scrap Happy people, um, yeah, we came off of the month of load and dove right into Calvin Ball. So you know, that's, uh, yeah, I'm so impressed at <laughs> how everybody was able to do that because, um, you know, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Oh, here we go. Finding all the fun stuff in here. So I've got lots of colors happening, so I should be able to claim most of my color points. That's good. Yeah. Um, I says, yeah, for, um, Sharon, all of the loads, um, February, May and October, they're for the whole month. Yeah. Um, that we do a mini load in August. It was something I started a couple of years ago because I thought some people like think, hmm, scrapbook every day for a month. That's crazy. I don't think I could do that. It was my first thought too. <laughs> um, and so for the people that are a little nervous about that, I did in, like start doing a, um, an August mini load. It's a one week one. So, you know, obviously we don't have like the big finishers prizes and some of the big stuff that we do in our full month challenges. But um, yeah, it was, it's been a good way to kind of, you know, break through those, uh, nervousness about what the load challenge really was so that's been a fun thing and I've got like a lot of good feedback they're like that was much more manageable and for most of us like obviously not our Aussie gals which who we love um but for a lot of us that's our summer holidays and kids are out of school and it's like kind of a crazy nuts time and you know when we have such nasty weather all winter it's nice to be able to go out and enjoy your summer so I know, especially for around here, we do a lot of things in the summer and then we do a lot of scrapbooking about it in the winter. <laughs> so I don't know if that's what it's like for you, where you live, but um, that tends to work well. So I think doing like a little one week mini version in, um, in August is, is a good time for that because Otherwise, it's a little too much. <laughs> it's too much for me, I know, in the, in the summer. But it's not like I want to, like, step away from it either. Like, I want to kind of, like, you know, we've been doing all this fun stuff. You're excited about it. And so it's really nice to dig in and do some of that scrapbooking there during that time, right? So 
that was kind of where the the whole uh, mini load idea kind of came out of. <laughs> I want to do scrapbooking, but I don't really want to commit to doing that much scrapbooking. <laughs> It's like the lazy girl's load. Just saying, it was for me. <laughs> but it works. It, you know, anything to get me back at it. Uh, so yeah, mini load. There. Okay, so I'm putting together a little, little flower cluster kind of down in the corners. Cute. And build up my, uh, build up some of the grid. If I can keep this simple, you know, I could actually get this done quickly. <laughs> Um, and says, yay, a pack of tiny gems finished. Very rewarding. And that's a point, you know, using up a supply. That's, that's a point. So definitely, like definitely rewarding. Um, Mel says, what is scrappy Christmas in July? It's not something that I do. <laughs> Christina says, add some stitching, Alice. You know, I'm all over that. <laughs> I will take my white marker and draw my little stitching on there, poke some holes, and it will look totally legit. <laughs> That's like a big joke because I am so not a stitching friendly person. I make it look really hard. <laughs> I did it during one of my scrapbook live events one month and people were like, covering my eyes. I can't, I can't bear to see this. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to drive you crazy. Oh. Okay. It's time to stick stuff on. We'll see then if how it's going. <laughs> If I can get like the top edge and the side edge, then the rest of the page should fall in line, right? Oh, there's Jacqueline. She was here this morning at the crop. Um, let's see. Anne said, I did my first Calvin ball stitching this evening, says Anne. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, I can tell you, I don't think I got any stitching points for my Calvin ball. <laughs> that might not have been my point of excelling. It was like, use bling. Okay. <laughs> I'm on it. And says she'll happily share. Okay. Let me see here. Sorry. Uh, there we go. We can hear you and I'll pin you up so we can see you. Awesome. Hey. So what you did some stitching? I did. Um, I've got to be careful because this the glitter stickles is still drawing on it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh! I stitched all of the banner pieces on every bit. Oh my gosh! So that's like hand stitching, not machine stitching, right? Yeah. No. I, I, I if I get the machine out, it will chew it up. <laughs> yeah. So can you see? I don't know. Everyone says that's awesome. Great banner. <laughs> Kim had said no stitching for her either. Only did you st stitching. So like, we're all like, woohoo, good job. <laughs> I've, I've just noticed because I pierced my finger several times. There's actually blood on there. As well. <laughs> there's, there's a point for that. Hurting yourself Adversity. will make you change. <laughs> Adversity. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I need to go to bed now because uh, the clocks are going forward. So it's probably about two o'clock in the morning here now, oh not one. <laughs> so well, I'm so glad you made it to this part. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, okay. I did say I would make like a little exciting announcement. Um, oh yeah. Tell me that before I go to bed. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that right now. Um, okay. So 
I was reached out, um, Kim Gray, she reached out to me and said that um, she would like to offer up two $50 gift certificates for Scrap Happy um, for people to win. And you don't have to have been a Scrap Happy member, but you are able to get it if you are a Scrap Happy member. Um, Scrap Happy membership is more than $50, so it doesn't cover the whole thing. Um, but um, this is actually in honor of her granddaughter. Her granddaughter passed away in 2016 and she was a delight and joy and she had Down syndrome and she was just um, a sweetheart of a girl. She would have been nine years old this year. And so every year what they do is something special around her birthday, which was yesterday. And in honor of uh, Maddie's birthday, she wanted like smiles for Maddie is, um, they actually have a Facebook page and they have like so many people that do something to give back to the world, to add some sunshine, um, in recognition of Maddie. So she is doing this in honor of Maddie. And if you were interested in getting one of the certificates, <laughs> Lila says she got to meet Kim Gray a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous because I haven't met her yet. <laughs> um, yeah, so with um, the certificates, what we, I'll do is there will be an email and I will post in our group and there will be a form that you can go and fill out, like a Google document kind of form that you can fill out um, if you'd like to be entered to win. And then we will do a live uh, broadcast on the first um, in our F Calvin Ball Facebook group to do like random selection for the winners for that. So, you know, if that's something that interests you, then that's super great. Um, and I can combine that with the like the discount off the price too. So like, I'm totally good at that. Like everything we can stack it up. So anybody that was like, eh, I don't know, that's a lot of money, especially like if you're converting to other currencies, I get it. I'm in Canada. <laughs> um, everything is based in us dollars though. And, um, yeah, it just might be a lovely way and a great way to honor her granddaughter. And, um, I know she said that, um, she wanted to give two gift certificates each for $50. And what I have decided to do is to actually, um, make them full spots. So instead of $50 gift certificates, we're going to make them two full paid year long memberships. So, um, whether you're a current member and you want to like win your renewal for the year, or if you're new and you want to come and join us, there's going to be two full spots available because, it's just really touched me and that is one way that I can give back in honor of Maddie as well. So, um, yeah, so that was like our, so our big exciting, um, thing. We're going to be giving away this spot. This was totally inspired by Kim and, you know, I was just like, okay, so super, super, super sweet and super wonderful. And, um, if you want, like I'll be posting, like when I post in the group about this, um, there'll be a link where you can actually go and see on their Facebook group, all of the things that people have done to kind of give back in Maddie's honor. And it's just super sweet. So it's like all these little pay it forward moments, right? So yeah, super, super wonderful. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kim says that was great. Alice, thank you. I would not have got through that. Oh my gosh. Well, I just, I want, I'm hoping I'm doing it justice, right? Like I didn't get the chance to know your granddaughter, but you know, I've, you know, connected with you for a long time on here and like my scrap happy people feel like my family, right? You're my extended family. So I, um, I really love that. So we will post in the group. And like I said, I will also send out emails to make sure we have stuff. And then we will do the live draw for the prizes on, uh, on the first. So watch for that. You don't have to be there to win. You don't have to be part of the live thing to win. Like it'll be fine. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it was just a great thing. So, so thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
<laughs> Libby says, how generous. And while I'm competitive and I like to win, I can afford my membership and will leave this for someone who really can use the boost to join. Good luck, ladies. And yeah, it's totally like if it's, I like to do it like pretty much all of the, the prizes that we always sponsor, um, like through our low challenges and stuff, we always have like it's kind of like positive entries. So you have to go and enter on the things that you would like to win. And I just think that it's just a way to make sure that people that want to win get to win, right? Like it's, if there's ever prizes that we offer during our load and you're like, eh, it's not my thing, or I do digital scrapbooking and I want the digital kits only, like we always make them like positive entry kind of things, if that makes any sense. It's not like the right wording, I don't think, but <laughs> I'll go with it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, there. So, hey. Oh, I can hear somebody scrapbooking. I'm not sure who it is, but I can hear somebody. <laughs> um, yeah, so continuing on as we go here, put these pages down. Oh, I know what I can do. I'll figure out who it is. Uh, Anne. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, when I, um, if we don't have people on mute, like when you're not talking, then the noises that happen in the background, um, that make the recordings really hard to listen to. So I'm always like, okay, we'll just go on mute. When you want to talk, talk, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. So yeah, so Calvin Ball, um, anybody have any rules that they're, um, wishing that they had as they work on their projects like right now oh no it's all good in <laughs> like it's like just like one of those moments it's like oh yeah we got to do that <laughs> the very first time I did an event oh my gosh like because it was new I didn't have any idea did the event and I didn't have anybody on mute like um so there was all these background noises and when I like actually listened to the audio, like I was like, oh, I didn't even know if I could post it. It was just, there was so much background noise and um, yeah, it was a little hard to listen to, but you learn, right? I, I learned. Um, M. Roberts, I'm sorry, I don't know what your first name is. I forgot to sign in, but I've been here and I just finished putting 35 layouts in my grandson's album. Points, points, points. <laughs> I love it. And Originally, just so you know, it had been suggested that you had to do 10 pages into an album to get a point. And I was like, oh no, oh no, I know how hard that is. So <laughs> we're going to do like five to get a point. <laughs> like if you can do five, that's already amazing. <laughs> yeah, so, so fun. Oh, I have a funny story to tell. It's about my son, kind of. Yeah, no, it's about my son. So my younger son, Ryan, he's home right now. And he uh, told me earlier today, like kind of in between the two events, he said, mom, I'm going to go out for a run. Okay, he does like swim training and stuff and um, competes and Mr. Physical Fitness and stuff. So he... Uh, went off on this run. We live out in the country. So, you know, whatever. Well, I get this call from my one friend and I haven't talked with her for a while. Like we just have been moving around in different areas and not cross paths. Well, <laughs> she says, oh, I have to tell you, I was driving to town. I was just leaving my yard and there's this guy, he's running around with no shirt on and he's got like pajama pants on or something. And I didn't know who it was. I just thought, who is this crazy person? <laughs> like, and she's a little dramatic to start with, but she, um, <laughs> it was my son running around with no shirt on with his pajama pants. Apparently that was the best running shorts or pants that he had for today. Oh my goodness. And she's, and then he was like trying to flag her down. She's like, kids, roll up your windows. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, super funny. Cause like, if you know where we live, like um, you're not exactly running into like sketchy people very often around here. <laughs> like, This is super funny. 
but um yeah it was funny because you know after she realized it was my son and he's like hey can I run up and down your driveway a few times because they live on this big hill she's like yeah go for it <laughs> oh funny kids though like there we go um points for shaping a photograph you're on points for shaping a photograph we needed to add some more points here we're, we're slacking shaping a photograph so cut your photograph into some kind of shape that's awesome kimberly says that's hilarious <laughs> oh like it's it was just funny oh and like the other thing man like sometimes i wonder he went on a job with my husband last week and he forgot his winter jacket at the job site and it's like an hour away from our town so my husband's like oh i'll pick it up next time i'm there like they put just put it in the back and he'll get it but uh my my son failed to mention his wallet was in that winter jacket so he hasn't had his wallet for a week <laughs> and it wasn't important enough to mention like what on earth <laughs> he had his phone and he has a little card in there just funny good night Anne. thanks for joining us it is like late 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 her time so the fact that she was here that's amazing okay um here we go get some of these tuck down Ooh. uh allison she's Elsa, she's loving and leaving again off to see captain marvel oh i know it just came out my son went last night he actually we, we went and had dinner with some friends and our one friend brought hit their son and his son's girlfriend their son's girlfriend and they were going out on a date after the after the dinner like 14 or 15 or something right kids right and my son's like oh cool i'd like to go see that movie so he kind of went has third wheel on their date and i didn't have the heart to tell him like you're kind of infringing on their date but I'm like, whatever. They didn't say, um, don't come. And I'm like, yeah, some lessons you just learn for yourself. <laughs> like, what's your mom, what's your mom supposed to say to that? I don't know. I just laugh though. Like, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. Kids. Um, <laughs> Uh, ooh, Allison got her layout 95% finished. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, Casey said, I scored a big clearance sale at Michael's for albums the other day, so I was able to finally put layouts away. Woo! It was an embarrassing amount of layouts I had that were homeless, but major points for it. Congratulations. That was my, on my to-do list for this month. Let's just say either tonight I better be extremely productive or tomorrow I better be extremely productive because I have not got them all done, but I have started getting them into like different piles for different albums. So, you know, I'm making progress in that general direction. If that kind of sort of counts a little bit. <laughs> I know it's not points yet. Get them in Alice, get them done. This is turning out so cute, guys. I can't wait till I have a couple more on here so I can hold it up and show you, but it's adorable. Um, I think I'm gonna do... I think I should do that one. I think I'm just gonna do more of the little airplanes. Yeah, and so far I've managed to hoard that grid paper, you know, if I don't use it on this layout, 
I got to get another layout done so that I can't discord it all the whole time. <laughs> Where did I put that paper? It's um, this one. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, um, ordered my albums. As you can see there, there's like more boxes. Like it's, we're doing a whole album overhaul here. Um, it's desperate because some of my albums are literally so old they're falling apart. And all was uh, by the greatest quality of albums over the years, <laughs> let's just say. Um, but whatever, uh, it's like super fun project now. And it, uh, it's really cool because they're all going to be kind of matching now and oh, it's going to be so pretty. <laughs> No, they'll be, the albums will be pretty enough to do my beautiful layouts justice, right? Because if I can't love my layouts, why should anybody else? But I love them. <laughs> so I'm doing something that's like, mm, I'm not sure here, like, about this, because I'm doing something that's like a little outside of my norm. Some of these pictures don't have the little white little matting underneath them, and I didn't mat them. We'll see if I can live with it or if I peel them up and and just try again and mat them, but I'm trying to live with it right now. We're not sure if that's successful yet. Would that drive you crazy? So that's, that's my big question. Um, uniformity above all else, or can you go, kind of go with the flow? <laughs> Mel says she's been thinking about overhauling her old albums too, but actually cutting the 12 by 12 layouts down to eight and a half by 11. That's a huge cut. Like, whoa, that is a big cut. Is it like um, a space issue or do you just always scrap that size now? Like what's making you want to uh, cut them down to that size? You just like the smaller books. I'm super curious. <laughs> And if you want to come on audio and tell us about that, that's fine too. Um, Cause I know sometimes typing. Um, Adria says my trimmer refuses to cut a straight line. So I've learned to just go with it. <laughs> I, once I got this triple track trimmer, like that was where I felt that it was finally like, okay, I can finally cut a straight line. When they just had that single track, it always went at the end, right? It just always had this little wing at the end. And that drove me nuts. Jenny says, I like to say go with the flow, but nope, I just can't. It would drive me insane. <laughs> I'm, I, I might be there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can get through, but I might be there. <laughs> um. Also, I'm not using a ruler to line things up. That may turn out to be disastrous on this. We'll find out. Um, so Belle says, um, I scrapped the smaller size now and it feels more authentic. And she says, plus the smaller albums are easier to look through. They definitely are. It's funny how when you sit down with that 12 by 12 album and it's like, woof, like it's like this big, massive thing. Like, <laughs> Um, Dottie says, how funny I'm in the process of making my, my eight and a half by 11 into 12 by 12, because I don't like the two different sizes. <laughs> like, isn't this funny? I love this so much because, you know, we can all just find that way, find that thing that works. Right. Um, I started with 12 by 12, so it's kind of what feels like the right thing to be at this point, but, um, 
Yeah, but I also really love working in like smaller things. Like I love doing like smaller albums and I especially love um, right now, like all of these little travel, traveler's notebook things. <gasps> I love them. Like it's just super fun. Um, and it's amazing for me like to be able to get like this whole little project all done at one time too. Like, so it's like another thing I love about it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, guys. Um, Deborah says, um, I scrapbook only 12 by 12 and have run out of room. I was blessed by a friend this week who went to Ikea in Atlanta and bought my long wish for five by five Calyx unit. I just have to reorganize my small room now. Yay. I'm so happy that you got your unit so you can organize your stuff. Dottie says she doesn't like to work on layout smaller than eight by eight. Yeah. It's so funny. Like, and we can all find our spot, right? We have our digi gals doing their digi stuff and like they're not until you print you're not constricted by size right you can kind of do your thing i love that adjustability of size with digi like i have to say that is like a bonus even when i was making this page earlier i had two options for that little bicycle because there was a die cut of the bicycle and then there was a sticker of the bicycle. The sticker was a little smaller and I was so happy about that because I, this one felt too big to put on that spot where I wanted it. So I was just really happy that there was the other one. I just gotta cut another one of these for what I decided. Um, Okay, now I'll be able to hold this grid up so you can take a peek, show it off. Ooh, that was close. Um, okay, so midpoint, I've got the base of my thing constructed. There's a lovely grid. Now, now here's like the moment of truth, right? So let me know. Some of these pictures don't have the little white lines underneath them because my printer didn't leave that space. Is that driving you nuts? <laughs> Can I leave it? Do I have to mat them? Didn't even notice until you said, said Brielle. <laughs> Yay, that makes like, it looks great. Leave it, leave it. I think it's okay, right? I, like, I was a little worried, but you know, it's, it's good. So I'm going to start playing with my embellishments, getting these on here. Mm, that's too big. Mm. <laughs> Triple mat them, says <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we need to have that voice of dissension because like sometimes, you know, you got to be that person. Daddy says, I've made one digi page many years ago, one and done for me. I like playing with the paper. I like playing with the paper, but like the, the, the creative possibilities are what entices me into that digi world. So it's like one of my personal goals for 2019 is to be able to create digi pages. So far I'm still learning, but, um, you know, in April, we'll see if I get a chance to uh, create an actual digi page. That's my thing. So she said she didn't notice the no white until I mentioned it. Yeah, because like there's a lot going on. It's a lot of my face on one page, guys. Like this kind of like freaking me out a little. But whatever. Whatever. It's lots of my friends on this page too. So that's making it much better. Ooh, I think I can put some words on here. I don't know if I want to put that on there yet. Let's uh, stick this on here for a second. I need some words. And these ones are lovely. Like this is totally like travel, adventure, time for new adventure, always together, feeling fine. Best one yet, see the world. Oh, in love with this life. 
true friends every day. Absolutely. Selfie time. Literally on the thing, it says selfie time. Well, you know that's going to go on here. And I'm going to use the word family fun on here too. Okay. Because we call ourselves the Scrap Happy Family. So family fun is perfect. And okay, words. Uh, let's see. Um, Deborah says, I did a digi album for my husband while I was home on bed rest from surgery. I won't do it again. So boring. Need to touch and smell the paper and embellishments. And it's so funny because like, you know, if you didn't try it, you wouldn't know that that wasn't the thing for you. Right. Jacqueline says, I tried digital. I like paper best, but digital has so many pluses. Resizing, instant download of new supplies, book sizes, reusing favorite supplies. I know, like imagine if I had like these words and I didn't have to just use them up once and I got to just do them over and over and they were just lovely like that all the time. I know. So. So I don't know if this is going to be like an actual title or if this is going to be a words that give our intent. Um, okay, that's good. Okay. I think it's good. Uh, Mel says, yes, digi digital kits are awesome. I love being able to resize elements. Print and cut on the Cricut is awesome as you can, as I can hybrid scrap. That hybrid, like, I don't know, that's pretty good. I love that. Um, it's like something that I definitely want to uh, incorporate more into my process. So my favorite thing that digi scrappers can do, like, because I think it's just magical, is when they um, take that photo and they blend it into the background so that it kind of just layers and with the papers and it just all blends. And I'm like, oh, it's just like my total favorite technique. And I'm like, I just love it so much. So I could see myself doing that part, making that part, and then still adding like the chunky stuff where I get to play with it. So, you know, I think it's like best of both worlds. <laughs> Um, I love these so much. Okay, so I've got some words on there. This is looking good. Super happy. Um, Andrea says, yes, that's about the only reason I'd want to do Digi. I love my touchy-feely supplies. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, but like, um, I think it depends on purpose too, right? Um, I did one of those books, like I do the, um, like the photo books or whatever. I did one for my brother uh, two years ago when he was looking to adopt and they needed to have something to show 
and uh, kind of represent them and the stuff that they've done and the relationship and everything like that. And uh, he reached out to me because, you know, he knows that I, uh, you know, do the photo stuff. And so, you know, he did. Oh my gosh. Like, I love my brother, but he's like, here, Alice, here's all of my photos in my um, Dropbox. He had all of his pictures in his Dropbox. So he gave me all of his photos. And like, I said, what am I supposed to do? Like, look through every single one of your photos. Like, you have to like help, like find me your stuff. He's like, oh, well, I just thought it'd be better if you had everything. <laughs> oh, he just made it like a monumental task. But I have to say, like, it was really fun looking through all his photos because I'd never looked through all my brother's photos before. So I got to see all of his trips and all of his travel. And because now he didn't pare it down at all. But um, yeah, I got to see everything. And anytime I was like, hey, I don't have that picture. How come I don't have that family picture? It was like, download. <laughs> so I got all the pictures that I wanted for myself from his photos. And um, yeah, put together, but like I looked at his life and like realistically, he's not going to be making like a touchy feely scrapbook, but him having like a photo book about their life felt kind of real to who they were. So I thought that was a really good compromise. And, you know, I sat down and planned out, okay, we're going to have like you, this is your childhood. This is your partner's childhood. This is, you know, like your time together. This is your trips together. This is what you're going to go and do like your outdoorsy stuff. And yeah, it kind of came together, but, uh, yeah, I love how it kind of worked out, but man, like when somebody just says here, I'll give you all of my photos. That is not like doing you a favor. <laughs> not at all. Uh, Adria says, Digi helps me to actually scrap with, with a little one. I can always tinker on the computer, even if I don't have much time and no worries about the kid lit getting hold of a page in progress or the cats knocking stuff on my table last week, literally, no, it was this week, earlier this week, I knocked over my water bottle or not my water bottle with my glass of water. Cause normally my glass of water is way over here where my elbows aren't. And I have clumsy elbows. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I knocked over my thing and my whole desk got like soaked. <laughs> like, eh. Thankfully, it was mostly just like notes that I had taken that got soaked. Like there was like one or two little embellishment things that weren't very salvageable. The rest actually was okay. Thankfully, my layouts weren't sitting right here, but it was like note to self. <laughs> if you're going to be a clumsy girl, which you are, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, time to put some more fun stuff on the page. More fun stuff, all the fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, there, that's like a little suitcase. That's fun. The suitcase thing was too big. So this one's smaller. Oh, I should look at the stickers one. There's stickers. I'm done with that. I bet you there's a suitcase in there. That's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, this one's okay. Um get some of this on there. I introduced this really bright yellow onto this page. So I'm trying to add just a few little pops of it across the page. Um, there, can we have a point for gold foil? Yeah, I think we've just got a point from it's like holographic foil, right? We, we don't actually have one for gold foil. Gold foil, point for gold foil, yay. <laughs> Uh, Sharon, she said, I knocked over my last bottle of Heidi color shine all over a layout, but what hurt the most was losing all that gold. 
it's like heartbreaking. It's like, I want to hoard that stuff now because you know, <laughs> like, why would they stop making it? Everybody loves it. <laughs> like, I just don't understand. It's like, why don't they ask me? And then like, before they like get rid of those things, right? Like, uh, Sharon says, I know why. <laughs> Mel says, cool, thanks. Anybody else have like some self-serving points they want? Come on, it's, it's time. Like this is the time we can like add all the points. <laughs> I think you should get a point for adding a sticker or an embellishment over like a random stranger photo bobbing your photo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We're putting that down there. Okay. <laughs> So, covering up your photo bombers, <laughs> hiding a photo photo bomber. We'll say that hiding a photo bomber, hiding a photo bomber. That's hilarious, and I've totally done that because I. Well, you, we've all done that, right? Like, so sometimes you have to cover the, up. She's holding up the example. Perfect. I'm gonna pin this up here so everyone can see. <laughs> Yes, sometimes you have to get rid of those photo bombers. <laughs> Leela says, uh, LOL, I have to look close at my photos to see if I can find one. <laughs> you know, chances are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mel says, Darn, they don't she bother me. the other day in Photoshop. <laughs> Most of the time they don't bother me, except when they're like staring and looking creepily at the camera too. Like then I, I just have to cover their face. I'm like, I don't know you. Just makes you think how many other people's photos are you in or in their scrapbooks that you don't know about. Oh, I know. Oh my gosh. Super funny. I have a good story about that. Um, when a couple of years ago, my uncle was working in India and my aunt was there visiting him and my cousin and I decided to go and visit them there. And so we, we flew over to visit and eventually we made our way to go to, um, to Delhi. But, um, my uncle had to come a day later to Delhi because of his work stuff. So we went to the red fort, just the three of us gals. Um, and we were told like, of course, like, don't just carry your backpacks loosely on your back and stuff. Cause the pickpockets and all those things. Right. So, <laughs> um, our cab driver said no rickshaw, no bicycle rickshaw. He didn't want us to go on this bicycle rickshaw thing. And we we're just like, okay. But you know, we heard that going into old Delhi on the bicycle rickshaw was cool. So we we're like, well, I don't know, like, why wouldn't we do it kind of thing? But the driver was like, no rickshaw. So I'm like, okay. Anyways, we were going to the Red Fort. We go into the Red Fort, but on the way in, this bicycle rickshaw guy, he's like approaching us and he's like, oh, go old Delhi. Like, you know, he wanted us to ride on this thing. And we're like, yeah, we didn't know. We were kind of non-committal, right? And we just said, no, I don't think so. No, it's okay. We, we, no, we just don't want to. So we go to the Red Fort and we are there like for five hours. Um, just strolling around looking at stuff. But while we were there, like actually on our way in the bicycle rickshaw guy actually like said backpack here. Like he wanted me to carry my bag on my front so that it wasn't hanging off the back. So this is the rickshaw guy that's like making sure that I don't get robbed. So I thought that was really funny. Um, as we go in there, the, it was super cool. We're looking at all the stuff We're taking pictures and my cousin and I like we're just getting goofier and funnier, but we notice that there's these guys that are like following us and watching us like this whole time. So we're like, are they like creepy people that want to rob us? Or are they like guys that just are laughing at the white girls? Like, <laughs> like we, we weren't sure. Um, but yeah, so they're following us all over this place. And we finally like sat down in this one place and we turned around and we took their picture. <laughs> and when they realized that that's what we had done, they're like, oh. <laughs> and it was just super funny because, you know, we kind of had confronted them about it. And I don't think they were like, had any ill intent. Like, I think they were just kind of following us because we were their entertainment of the day. But, you know, 
whatever. It was just, it was rather funny and we'd had some good laughs over the time. Yeah. It was a very interesting trip all in all, but yeah, that day was uh, definitely funny. But when my uncle came, we felt a lot more um, secure <laughs> on our travels. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this is gonna go on here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so now's the time to start cramming in on all my points, right? <laughs> and the selfie time that needs to go on here. Um do I have a label or something? Hmm. Hey, Libby says, I'm ready to crash. And I got one layout done in the app. I'll post in the morning when I'm more awake. Good night. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now, travel adventures. I have to say, I love travel adventures. They're, they're the best. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to pop this up too. Um, so at the end of that red fort story, I guess um, I should say we left the red fort and those rickshaw guys, the bicycle rickshaw guys had waited for five hours for us to come back out of there. And we were like, uh, <laughs> what are they still doing here? But while we were in there, we talked with some other um, tourists that were traveling about and, and checking things out. So um, we had decided that, you know, we were, we were cool with the idea of going on this bicycle rickshaw thing. And yeah, that was quite the adventure too. So <laughs> good times. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I need to add the little extra bits now, but work in progress. We've got family, friends, and fun on my, uh, for my words. I've got some little word strips. I've got a little heart. We got some luggage going on here in my globe. I got a little bow down here with, I've got flowers kind of hidden underneath. So those are some of the things. The background is kind of like a geometric kind of, does it count as geometric print? It kind of looks like tiles. You guys can decide. Is that, would you say it's geometric? It has that repeating pattern. So yeah, I feel that that's not too much of a stretch <laughs> to say geometric. Um, I need to get some sequins on here. These are so pretty. Oh, so I need my box of glue dots. Um, can we have a point for using transparency? Your wish is my command. <laughs> Use a transparency. There we go, Linda. <laughs> this is fun. No evil laughter either. Like it's all like super fairy tale wishes and stuff tonight. <laughs> and 
Chipboard is your nemesis. We don't have chipboard on there? How did we pass up chipboard all month? <laughs> Nobody's asked me for a chipboard? Hard to believe, but um, Jenny, Jenny says chipboard. So let's add chipboard. Congratulations, chipboard. So we have added points for shaping a photograph, gold foil, hiding a photo bomber, using a transparency and chipboard. And I will make sure they all get added after this. Um, add some little doodads on here. Some of these are so cute. Oh my gosh. I need some stars, definitely. Okay. I didn't make a shaker today. I'm a little sad I didn't make a shaker. I've got these beautiful things. Um, let's see. Casey says we need a point for school or daycare type photos. Absolutely. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Use school photo. These things can be hard to scrapbook with. <laughs> so use a school photo on the list. And stuff. Um, okay, let's reach into the little stuff here. So I've got enamel dots that are triangles. Uh -huh. um, I've got some enamel dots that are stars. I know I can't connect enamel dots twice, but at least I have them. So that's got to go on here. Um, let's see, teal, right? We need to use teal. Good. And sorry, I get quiet when I'm doing my embellishing, apparently. <laughs> there we go. Special requests. Anybody else? Special requests. All fun stuff. <laughs> Here, good. Elt animals, <laughs> that's very specific. <laughs> I like I like the specific specificity of that. That's that's hilarious. We're having a point for using felt animals. <laughs> I I just love it. It's like one of those rules. It's like, well, I'm using a felt animal, so let's have points for it. So uh, I'm encouraging that. That's what we're here for. <laughs> so anybody else have like a very specific rule that they would like to have added? Now's the time. Awesome. Super fun. Oh. <laughs> Kim says I have about 20 of them. You know that you'll get that point if you use it like 20 or more of a, one item on your page. <laughs> there's, a, there's a point for that, Kim. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, books. Oh, yeah, I love that. Use a book or books. And it says, I have zoo. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I need a little thing for this little square here where I can try to put some journaling, but I really don't have much to say on this one because it's going to sit with my other page. So I think, uh, 
yeah i'll just uh i'll just play with embellishments all good uh brielle says i have to admit i've never heard of calvin ball before this year i didn't really play along but i'm totally inspired and i love the joy that is brought out in these crops next year count me in <laughs> I um I heard about it a couple years ago. I think Melissa Shannon. Um she has the um digital or no 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 that's wrong. She has she's from Digital Scrapbooking HQ, but she um has the Scrapbooking Inspiration podcast and she did a thing about Calvin Ball and I was like what is this? So I had gone over to get it scrapped to find out what it was. Um, I think we have a point for that, Andrea, for having, uh, like that photos on a page. What is the one for the photos on a page? This is where we, uh, I, I need Merrick. I think she knows all the points better than I do. <laughs> I think it's in the regular points. Yeah. Um, Do we not have that? Oh, I'm not up to date. Work, it's in the way. I mm, <laughs> that work, you know, how dare it? <laughs> um, sequins car. Products from five different kits, like five different designers or something. That's an easy one to get, guys. Like, make sure you're taking that point. Um, one I don't know if people have taken enough is scrap lift another Calvin Ball layout. It's different size photos. Okay, then let's do four or more, four or more photos. See, there we go. We need the experts on here. Deborah's got like uh, a lot of points on that board. <laughs> okay, so four plus photos on a page, mm, or twenty. You know, I'm using 20 of a thing. I'm saying that that's like, you know, I'm going to take that point too. <laughs> 20 selfies. That's got to count. Four plus photos. That's a, that's on the list now. <laughs> uh, I have like a little container of wood veneer things on this desk. And it's like hiding. <laughs> It's hiding. I'm going to find my backup supply. <laughs> oh, there is an arrow in there. I thought I wasn't going to have an arrow. Ooh, there's some good things in here. Hey, I can get my hexagon point. This is good. There's an arrow and there's a hexagon in here. Okay, I don't want to leave this just as a plain thing, so I'm going to ink it. <laughs> um, let's see. I've got our purple shirts on here, but otherwise I haven't really added like extra purple on here. So just to cover my purple bases, diamond shapes. Yeah, let's have diamond shapes. Diamond shapes is a great one. Okay, so as a recap, points for shaping a photograph, gold foil, hiding a photo bomber, using a transparency, chipboard, school photo, felt animals, <laughs> a book, uh, four plus photos, and diamond shapes. Yay! <laughs> Andrea says, thank you. Thank you. My husband just got home, so I've got to go finish dinner. So just as a reminder, we do have the 12 and a half percent off of Scrap Happy membership coupon. So if anybody's interested in coming and joining us for more fun, we would love to have you. And um, I haven't mentioned this, but we have like a money back guarantee. So if you joined and you're like, this wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, I've literally done one refund ever for that. 
and it just wasn't her thing. So I said, cool. Well, thanks for coming and trying it. Right. So, um, we do have like, it's a hundred percent money back guarantee, like 30 days. If in 30 days you're not having fun with us, I'll happily give you your money back because our, you know, <laughs> it's, that's what we're about. It's about having a good time with it. So if that's not working for you, then we'll happily let you move on. But yeah, just thought I should clarify that. Um, yeah, this is good. Ooh, I didn't stamp on here. I'm inking stuff. It's not stamping, right? Even if I'm using an ink pad, but I could probably like get a stamp on here. Ooh, I know. Date a layout, right? <laughs> How could you not love scrap happies as Kimberly? I know I had one person. She's like, I'm, I just don't do like live things. and I don't do this. And you know, um, I tried load and it wasn't her thing. And I'm like, okay, well then there's no fix in that. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no fix in that. Like if it's not your thing, here's your money. Have a great day. <laughs> so, you know, no, no ill wishes there, you know, I'd much rather have people that are happy than sitting there going, Oh, I spent all this money on this thing and I don't like it. <laughs> right. Like that'd be sad. <laughs> and how many times have we done that? Actually, um, our swim club, um, cause I'm the head coach of the club in like our summer swim club that we have. Um, our swim club has a uh, rookie week and the kids that show up for rookie week just pay a dollar a day and they can kind of see what our swim club is like. And I love it because you don't have to like pay all your fees up front and have your kids show up and then they won't get in the water. <laughs> like I've seen it so many times. You have this little kid that shows up and the mom's like, Oh yeah, they love the water. They love to go swimming. And that kid will not get in. And you're like, they're just not ready for swim club yet. And it was like, you know, a dollar. So it's nobody's like, it's not a big deal. Right. And then they have to be registered by the second week. So it's all good. Uh, Missy said, ouch, I just stapled my finger, but at least I get a point for the injury. That's right. You take that point because you earned it. You paid for that in blood. She's like sitting here going, ow. <laughs> okay. I think this is the right date. I guess once I stamp it on my page, it becomes the right date, right? <laughs> Whether it was or not. Uh, there. And I messed it up. I rocked my stamp and all, but it's on there. It's good. Oh, boy. Cool. Okay, this is good. Get my wood veneer point, get my arrow point, get my all the good stuff points, right? Okay, where does this arrow feel like it should be? Not over top of my head, maybe. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, it's funny. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I thought there was another comment. I thought the thing moved. Mm. Yeah. So, out of people that are here, do you still have a local scrapbook store? I'm always curious. Do you have a store where you can go shopping that's like in a relatively close-ish feeling of like place? <laughs> Brielle says no. Jacqueline says yes. Leela is a no. Teresa, no. Brittany says yes. Jenny says yes. Oh, I'm so happy for you people that have a store. Um, Adria says only if you count Hobby Lobby or Michael's. It's like not really the same, you know? You know, like, it's like, oh, I guess I'll take it if it's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah says she only has the big box stores. Kathy says she's lucky enough to have a great one. Uh, Dottie says the closest is about an hour away. Like, that's pretty fair. 
my closest now is two hours away um in one dire one direction right <laughs> not round trip so um yeah every once in a while I get into the city and I get to have like some shopping but when I go oh my goodness like Edmonton because that's my closest store Edmonton Alberta Edmonton has lots of scrapbook stores like they are so good it is like awesome because there's like lots of good scrapbooking stores really fun actually Calgary another good place to look for scrapbook stores just saying <laughs> Teresa said back in the day I had three um and Casey says there's one about two hours away otherwise she has Hobby Lobby Michaels Joanne's Tuesday morning yeah see um I have none of those things where I live yeah the closest Michaels is also two hours away so yeah it's just you kind of learn to um adapt um, I order my wild hair kit once a month. I think I'll be ordering myself another secret, not so secret kit club kit because this has been super fun. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of finding the things that are, you know, different resources, but I really like to see the stuff and feel it and play and have that option of going to a class. Oh, those kind of things. So fun. <laughs> But, you know, it's one of the things, like, I like going to big events. Um, so events are super fun because you get your fix of all of those things, too. Okay, my fingers are covered in ink now. <laughs> uh, Dottie said we had an archivers that was about 10 minutes away. Very sad when they closed in 2014. Teresa loves Tuesday morning. I've like I've been in some and they're like awesome, and I've been in a couple that are like mm, they got some stuff. <laughs> they they can be pretty hit or miss, I think. So if you have a good one, that's awesome. Um, you know, look at me talking about Tuesday morning like I've been to a million of them. I've been to like three because <laughs> we do not have those in Canada. <laughs> um. Wynell says, I just got here. I've been babysitting our two week old twin granddaughters. I couldn't turn that down. I'll watch the replay. So Wynell, as a catch you up, points for shaping a photograph, gold foil, hiding a photo bomber, using a transparency, chipboard, using a school photo, felt animals, a book, uh, four or more photos, and diamond shapes. So, you know, we got some points. Anybody else needs some self-serving points? You know, we're running down the end of our two-hour stretch, but I'm really happy to give away all the fun points. <laughs> uh, Teresa says, yeah, it's usually hit or miss at, at Tuesday morning. Mel says, I'm using washi tape on the back of my layout to stop stitching from unraveling. Does that count for the washi point? Get to use it, so why not, right? Like you take it, girl. <laughs> um, Sharon said there's an awesome one in California, but I moved to Colorado and have no idea. There are two Tuesday mornings here, but they aren't particularly great. Um, oh, I know. So are they listed somewhere? Um, I'll be adding them to the main list as soon as we're done here, so I'll get them up right away. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, I haven't wrote them all out, so, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Cindy said, I was under a rock and I didn't know there was an early evening event. <laughs> oh, yeah, washi tape. Yeah, I haven't actually used washi tape. This is crazy. How does that, how am I not getting that point? <laughs> Okay, this is looking pretty good. It's no journaling, so you know that's sad, but uh, it goes with the other page. So here we go. I'm gonna hold this up. I've added a bunch of stuff to it. It has sequins, it has hearts. I think it, yeah, it has stars, it has like lots of selfies. <laughs> we got flowers. 
we got wood veneer, we got purple, we've got aqua, we've got a globe on there, there's a bow, there's blingy, sparkly, shinies, oh my gosh, it's wonderful, wood, or like the word, word stickers, um, good stuff. So yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, it's so nice having a place where you can go and shop and find stuff. Casey says, my Tuesday morning is amazing and my little guy's swim school is in the same shopping center. So now I have weekly trips to it. <laughs> the last month or so has been the best there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's like, darn, <laughs> I have to go because, you know, he has to go to swimming. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, super good. Okay, this is really fun. I love the page. I don't know... I think I'll be looking through the rules to see if there's anything else that I can still, you know, realistically squeeze into this. There might be something, you know. Um, but yeah, this turned out super good, super cute. Um, if you want to get one of the kits, you can go to the page here. Let me just pull up the, the link so that I have that handy so I don't give you the wrong thing. Um, so you want to go to redefined creative and let me type this in here. So 20 photos of Alice. I know it totally is Mel. It's like all me, me, me. <laughs> it's, it's like insane. <laughs> creative.com slash shop. Okay. So redefinedcreative.com slash shop, or you can join the Facebook group at, um, facebook.com slash, um, club. Okay. So those are the two links for, um, secret, not secret kit club and for the shopping. So if you're interested in that and don't forget that you have the Calvin ball coupons, I will send those out in the emails again, and I'll post the link, um, in the Calvin ball group. If you're doing some of that shopping, I just want to say shout out to Christina. Thank you so much for my kit. I had so much fun playing with it. I didn't use that one paper that I wanted so bad, but I will, I promise I will. I won't just hoard it forever. <laughs> because it's wonderful. And I just wanted to say like, thank you to everybody that was participating this month in Calvin Ball, because you made this a really fun month for me. And you were very understanding when I was like kind of learning the ropes and how this was going to run. And I appreciate your patience in that and the good humor as I introduced crazy new twists to the game. And I think it's really fun. So that was really good. Leela said, you made this really fun for us too. Okay. Well, I'm super happy to hear that. Um, and if you think this is fun, we do more fun things in Scrap Happy. So consider it. Um, just as a reminder, we will be having um, the um, draw for the two free spots in the Scrap Happy membership. Um, Kim reached out to me in honor of her granddaughter. And as part of Smiles for Maddie, she's sponsoring like these two, two $50 certificates. And I'm just like saying, no, we're going to make it two full spots in membership. So it's open to Scrap Happy members if you want to like add on to your membership for another year. And if you are interested in coming to join us, then that would be wonderful too. So um, there will be a thing that you fill out. So I'll make sure that's in the email and post it in the group uh, for that opportunity. So thank you to Kim and um, here's to smiles for Maddie. So we'll uh, post more details about that as well. Um, this has just been super fun and I love scrapbooking with you. Um, if you're feeling like, no, this is all coming to a horrible end next month, I do have a scrapbook live session. Um, I play with a kit from the wild hair kits and 
you can join me for that. I, I, I actually order my own kit from there and then she gives away a free one during the event. So that's really fun. And that's free for anybody to come and join. Um, just go over to scraphappy.org and get on the email list. And that's at, okay, I can't type apparently. Um, yeah, scraphappy.org slash subscribe is where you can fill out the form for that. That works. I subscribe. And, uh, yeah, then you can get on the e email list for that so that you'll know about the fun things. Um, we also have a scrap smarter session. It's coming up on April the 3rd. It's actually our March session, but you know, with timing, we're, we're doing it in the beginning of April and we are having Claudia as a car from white sugar designs. She's going to come and show us a really fun things for doing with, um, traveler's notebooks, but there are techniques that you can apply to pages and allow you to have interaction on the pages and really, really fun things. I saw her books in person when I went to creativation. I'm like, you need to come and show us stuff because <laughs> this is really fun. So i um, looking forward to that. And you can get more information about the Scrap Smarter sessions uh, on the Scrap Happy site as well. And by signing up for that same email. So some really fun things. Um, Wynell says, this is my first time to participate in Calvin Ball, and I really enjoyed it. I got eight layouts done, not as many as I thought I might do. New twins in the family took up some time. Maybe I can do some more while I watch the replay. Thanks, Alice, for hosting and making it fun. Yeah, it's been totally a pleasure. So I've had the best time. Um, there will be a final points tally posted. Um, when is Calvin Ball over? Yes. Uh, tomorrow is the 31st. So technically at midnight, um, Pacific time, no Eastern time. Sorry. We're on Eastern time for this. We do Pacific time on all my other stuff. So, um, midnight Eastern time is technically the closing time. I'm going to like give you like a little bit of time to maybe get your points loaded up the next day. That's when I'm going to post up the final leaderboard tally and it'll give us a top 10 for the final leaderboard tally and I think that will be extra good. We have uh, some pretty amazing points going in and even if like you're not on that leaderboard for points, hopefully you've made some pages that you're excited about, told some stories that were fun and you know enjoyed what this hobby is really all about and it's like taking your photos, doing something with your memories and having fun while you're doing it. So. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. And, um, you can watch that free prize draw. We're going to do Facebook live on the first and I'll have more details out about that soon. I'll go post these new rules in the group right away so that you have access to them and enjoy your last day. What do we got? Like 20, 28 hours left or something. We've got a few 20, 20, uh, 26 hours left of the challenge. I can't believe that we're that close to the end, but it's been awesome. <laughs> Cheers to more scrapping. That's right. <laughs> Kim's like, I need some sleep. <laughs> That's great. Love it. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy scrapping. And, uh, yeah, just have the best, best time. Missy said she broke fi 500 points. She's so sad. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Okay. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.